unsolved. Zodiac Killer Case, What Do We Know For Sure, Part 2. Canelli states that approximately five minutes later, they drove his truck back to the Gasser Ranch, heading towards Benicia, and they passed the car. Canelli insists that the Rambler was parked on the bank that would be on the south side. He did not see any person in the car. He estimated he left the area between 11 p.m. and 11.15 p.m. Do we know what Canelli said to the police is correct? Or do we know for sure it's not correct that the car was parked on the south side? that he did not see any person in the car. How is that even possible? There's no time for the car to be moved by the time James Owen arrives. It seems like these statements are definitely lies. James Owen passed by the Rambler and a second vehicle, the Zodiac's vehicle. Mr. Owen stated, last night, Friday, December 20th, 68, at 11.20 p.m., he drove by the location on Lake Herman Road. He states he saw two cars parked near the entrance to the pumping station. He stated the car parked nearest to the road was a 1955 or 1956 station wagon, boxy type, neutral color. The other was parked to the right and abreast of the station wagon. The cars were about 10 feet apart. He stated he could not give a description of the make or color of the other car. The Solano County Sheriff asked James Owen if he could give another statement. And so here's what he said. Mr. Owen states as he went by the scene where the crime had occurred Friday night, he definitely saw two cars, a station wagon and another vehicle parked approximately three or four feet to the right of the station wagon. He did not see anyone in the cars or around them. He stated as he traveled approximately one quarter of a mile beyond, he thought he heard a shot. Stella passed the crime scene at 11.15 p.m. She lives on Lake Herman Road across from her parents' home, two and two-sevenths miles from the scene of the crime. She rode with her mother-in-law and daughter and drove casually over the 2.7 miles, this time the distance being estimated by the detectives. She estimates between 11.14 and 11.15. Her clock is one minute fast, as we found out during this interview. She states that no cars were going in either direction while she was on the road. When she arrived at the scene, headlights picked up the car and she observed a boy and he looked like he had fallen out of the open door. The girl was lying on her side facing the road. She had a purple dress on and looked well dressed. She saw only one car at the scene it looked like a rambler, grayish in color. It had a chrome rack on the top. So what's the time frame for the Lake Herman Road murders? What time did the Zodiac pull next to David and Betty? And after murdering them, what time did he leave the turnout? 
Peggy noticed David, Betty, and the Rambler for the last time between 11.15 and 11.18. Robert Canelli saw the Rambler for the last time between 11 and 11.15 p.m. And James Owen witnessed the Rambler in another vehicle at 11.20. Peggy's time frame seems to be too late by at least 10 minutes. Even if she went by at 11.05, that's cutting it very close. Robert Canelli's time is closer, but still seems to be too late. He would have had to have been there, by my estimate, at 11.05. And James Owen, who witnessed the Rambler, at 11.20, according to him, that would be too late also because the crime happened at 11.15. So his time was 10 minutes too late. So looking at this, you can definitely see that the Zodiac Killer had very little time because James Owen, even if he was there at 11.10 and saw the Zodiac parked there, the Zodiac would have had only a few minutes to kill both David and Betty and leave and not be seen by Stella when she drove by at 11.15. Frank and Robert left, heading to the Gasser Ranch sometime after 11. But was there a third man? Peggy Yore said she saw the two hunters on Marshall Ranch beside the truck. And she described them in great detail. And she didn't say anything about any hunting dogs. So where did the dogs go? And so maybe that third man was Ralph Hall. And maybe he had his own car and maybe he shot and killed David and Betty that night. Well, this ends this episode of Unsolved, and next week we'll have some new information on either Robert Canelli or Ralph Hall. See you next week.